Hey guys, welcome to yet another video based on data mining. So in today's video, we'll be seeing what are the different data summarization techniques. So uh, there are basically five different summarization techniques in data mining to uh, plot or to graph the data. So let's have a look on them one by one. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, to represent the data or to summarize the data, we have the basic histogram or frequency histograms from the mathematics. Uh, like we have uh, this kind of graphs like uh, different uh, width will be given and different intervals will be given so based on that we plot on the x as well as the y axis so uh, to have a brief information regarding this uh, there will be bucket kind of representations in histograms and the width of each bucket is of uniform size uh, like there will be one particular width or kind of particular median interval will be there so based on that we'll be plotting this kind of graphs and the bucket is represented by a rectangle in this like you have a bar graph so bar graph and a histogram is more like a same so this is how a, a bar graph or a histogram in data mining looks so it's basically based on frequency so it's a frequency histogram next we go about the quantile plot so this is mainly used for univariate distribution uh, univariate means a uh, kind of particular data set is given so it will have different kinds of variety of informations or properties exhibiting so for that kind of data we mainly use a quantile plot so it displays all the data for a given attribute uh, for example say a candidate column is given so candidates first name last name his mobile number his sex uh, then it's uh, age uh, then it's uh, email ID and all those things. So for all those particular one single attributes, it displays all the data which it has. And so uh, it plots a quantile information. So that's basically uh, here we have some F values, frequency values, and uh, we have some unit prices in dollars. So uh, in X as well as Y axis respectively. And so uh, we can have this data points which is scattered in this manner. So it's like a particular trend, it's an exponential growth. So this can be plotted with the help of a quantile plot. Next, uh, in contrary to this, we have the quantile quantile plots. That is a QQ plot. So uh, basically the difference between these two is like, this is used for univariate distribution. This is also used for univariate distribution, but this is only used for denoting or depicting one particular or one single data set. Whereas this is uh, used for allowing user to view whether there is a shift in particular uh, data set whether if it's going from one distribution to another like if you have one particular distribution like if you have for example say agglomerative distribution and then if you are going for some other kind of distribution then there is any uh, deviation or the, uh, there is any kind of uh, shift in particular or uh, goodness of fit in that particular curve then for that you use a QQ plot quantile quantile plot so as you can see from the X and Y axis you take two different branches of two different unit prices like you have branch one and branch two at x and y axis and then you have this curve with represented uh, with the help of the data points in this manner. Uh, next we talk about the scatter plot. So scatter plot uh, determines a relationship between a pattern or a trend or any other kind of uh, numerical attributes, any relationship between these two kind of attributes. So it can have either positive or negative correlation between two attributes. So whenever there are any two values or two different numerical attributes or mathematical attributes are given and if you want to compute their correlation analysis or if you want to compare these two. So at that time you use a scatter plot. So basically it scatters or it uh, plots different points, uh, any random points and so uh, it is in a scatter fashion uh, there is no particular length or exponential growth but uh, there will be a kind of curve or some undistorted structure in that so for that we use the scatter plot when the data is not uh, uniform or uh, it's used in unvaried distribution next we have the final uh, depiction technique that is we have the lowest curve lowest stands for local regression and so uh, it's based on two parameters and this curve is basically based on two parameters. So first one is alpha. Alpha is a smoothing parameter and it is a positive number uh, between having the ranges of value. Uh, it lies between 1 by 4 that is 0.25 and between 1. And so uh, this alpha 
uh, if the value of this alpha increases then uh, that means that this curve is even more smoother so if you want to make your curve or if you want to make your distribution look even more smoother you may have to increase the alpha value to a considerable level uh, then the second parameter to talk with this is the lambda that is the degree of polynomials fitted by regression. Regression is any change in uh, kind of historical data or uh, any new trend which is observed. So like whatever changes you do in that particular kind of data set that if you want to reflect in your uh, data mining set and if you want to plot that. So for that you need a parameter that is lambda and it takes two values that is either one or two so that determines a degree of polynomials means whichever variables which are adding to your equation so that counts to a curve that is a fitting curve so it's basically based on regression so whenever as and when you change that that curve gets changed as it is so uh, you have this lowest curve that is represented in this manner so a kind of arc is drawn and uh, some data points are scattered there or here so it's like a scatter plot basically then you have a curve that is a line basically in this so well that's all about to summarize regarding the data summarization techniques in data mining so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video